what is up everybody all right it's bailey here or just don't panic whatever one, whichever one you want to call me i don't care uh i hope everyone's doing well uh i decided to make a video today because i got something kind of cool in the mail uh now this is nothing new there's been plenty of videos on these they, they've been around for years and years but they are typewriter style keycaps as you can see there i got the black ones with the chrome trim and these are actually pretty uh pretty thin here i'm gonna get one out and show it to you um by the way this is how they came i got these from amazon you can get them from a couple different places um these came from amazon and they came in an amazon box but there's nothing really no box or anything just kind of this plastic sheath and a barcode on the back right so let me pull one of these guys out for you give you a little look if i can grab one now these are backlit so if you have a light up keyboard anything like that they're going to shine through the lettering on there and here you go if i can get this to focus there we go that's the pause button right now you can see how thin these are they're very thin very very low profile right so uh when you get these on your switches it's gonna show uh, a good amount of the switch underneath it's not gonna cover them up like uh like your regular keycaps here you know these go down a lot farther you know they cover up more of the switch there for comparison um anywho today i will be installing these guys on my keyboard and i use the bloody you can see that the bloody b945 okay this is the opto mechanical keyboard uh l with light strike switches i got the orange one so the very clickety clackety uh switches and i thought that was kind of appropriate uh because typewriters are kind of clickety you know so anywho i figured it'd be cool and uh here's my keyboard itself i got the rgb done up how i like it Got the num oh this is the keyboard with the numpad on the left by the way as you can see if I can flip it there you go and I keep that wrist dress attached there at the bottom it's pretty nice I don't know I just I just leave it flat and keep that attached but as you can see it's got this kind of chrome trim on the keyboard itself so I thought I went with the right color of keycaps right and they got the chrome trim on the on the keycaps anywho so i'm gonna get uh my keyboard i'm gonna pull all the keycaps on it off now i'm gonna clean it up and uh put these bad boys on i don't know if i'm gonna like these at all uh they weren't too expensive they're 25 dollars i have amazon prime so it's free shipping quick too um i don't know if i'm gonna like these at all or not because i'm a i'm a kind of an avid gamer it might be kind of weird going from a square switch to a circular one um but yeah i'm gonna try it out i thought they looked pretty cool so uh like i said i'm gonna get back to videoing as soon as i get my keys pulled off and get these installed on there so brb all right guys so i got the keycaps on and first impressions uh all right i really like the way they look okay aesthetically it looks great so here you go this is it on the bloody b945 right and I was a little worried. Uh, I figured, okay, so I got the orange switches, as you can see from the side there. And you can see them from the top, right? You can see the edges. But when you're sitting at your desk, it's kind of lean back like this, right? And so you can't see the orange th that much, right? So whatever color switches you got, if you go for this, uh, you can see the switches, right? A like a lot more. Uh, couldn't see the orange at all with my... Uh, with the stock keycaps uh, These look good though, you know what I'm saying like adds a little bit of Personality, oh, uh, I haven't plugged it in yet though. So I'm about to plug this in and See what it looks like with the RGB All right, here we go This is what they look like with the RGB Not so shabby I do kind of have a lot of light on this but maybe you can't see it as well. I'm going to go for a top-down perspective now, actually. That's a pretty good camera angle there. Okay, here we go. So feel-wise, they feel kind of awkward since they're round and not square. I'm just not used to it yet, really. 
Uh, I'm sure after some time, it'll get more comfortable. Um, they do have a concave, right, to the surface. They, they you know, kind of, kind of wrap your finger tip around a little bit, I guess. I will say with this specific keyboard, uh, the spacebar, the uh the stock space bar here this is the stock space bar um to get it off there are these two threaded little little points here on the inside of the of the space bar and to uh get these off actually i had to flip the keyboard upside down uh and these little tiny screws you can see that little tiny screw was in each one of these and also accompanied by a spring that was around them adds a little bit of uh snap back to uh back to place so i couldn't put the springs and the screws back onto this uh new space bar because it did not have these points because i suppose the keycaps are supposed to be somewhat universal for you know almost anybody's keyboard uh just about uh that and my caps lock had a little indention in the stock keycap just because if you're gaming you don't accidentally hit key uh caps lock with your uh i guess with your ring finger there there is a bit of a space here as you can tell there's a bit of a more a bit more of a space here than with the rest of the keys but you don't get that that little spacer indention like with my stock caps lock let's see i'm gonna do a typing test with my microphone real close i'm gonna put it real real up up there next to my keyboard uh I'm gonna try not to hit any of my hot keys to stop recording. So I'm just gonna jam around on the keyboard. I'm not gonna really type anything, but. I'm just gonna hit some keys. Give you an idea of how loud that is. I don't think I can tell the difference personally. Uh, in, in noise level at least but aesthetically I think they look pretty pretty neat you know definitely adds a little bit of character all right so we're gonna go ahead and do a type race disclaimer I'm not a very quick type typist yeah I'm not a very quick typist first of all so this might be weird I do I, I was comfortable with my old keys at least typing pretty comfortable so we'll see how this goes just right off the break Sing us a song near the piano, man. That's Billy Joel. Oh no, right away I'm getting typo errors, dude. Start over. I don't want to come in last place. Okay, so fat fingering really bad right now. 50 words per minute. I'm not necessarily proud of that. We'll do it again. That one was a little bit better. It was a pretty short one. I'll take it. Some guy got 87, bro. That's pretty, that's pretty saucy. I'll do one more. Look, there's only one thing worse than being a loser. Oh, no. Okay. 68, I'll take it. Okay, guys. So, in conclusion, uh, what do I think about these? Uh, after sitting here and messing with them, just, you know, like, right out of the, out of the break, right out of the gate. Blah, 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 blah. After sitting here and messing with them, right out of the, blah, blah, blah. After sitting here and messing with these, uh, just for like a, you know, an hour or so, I think they're fine, honestly. Do I think that they're going to have an impact in gaming? Probably not. My intuition is telling me probably not. So yeah, I think that that's just kind of up to you. They definitely take some getting used to. I'll say that I'm like, I fat fingered during the type races, you know, I'm not just regular type and I fat finger anyway, but, uh, Definitely was kind of fat fingering. It kind of just, I'm just not used to the feel, right? I'm actually pretty, I'm really stoked with how this came out looking. I think that they matched the keyboard very well. Here, I'll flip it one more time. I think it looks nice. On the bloody B945, I think it's a definite, it's a definite style choice for that keyboard, right? So, uh, do I recommend these? I just say do whatever you want you know what i mean they're 25 dollars on amazon you know if you like the way they look go for it if not don't you know that's my conclusion hope everyone has a good day